yes hello guys welcome back to another edition of sports update ghana well coming up in this edition we'll be looking at how fans can get the opportunity to buy tickets to go and watch ghana versus mexico's game which will be played in october then away from that we also look at black stars midfielder baba idrisu who has sent an emotional farewell to rcb mallorca fans as he leaves the club then also coming up Daniel Amati has promised to score more goals at his new club that is Besiktas and FC Nordjylland have rejected a bid for Ernest Nyama from French League Anside Stad Riem. So more coming up very shortly. Before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get right into it and fans who would want to watch the friendly match between the Black Stars of Ghana versus Mexico in October will have the chance to buy tickets for the match starting Friday, August 11. The Black Stars of Ghana are scheduled to take on their counterparts that is Mexico in an anniversary match on Saturday, October 14, 2023. However, on Tuesday, the Ghana Football Association in a statement announced that the match will be played at the Bank of America Stadium. In a statement, the GFA is quoted to have said that the Ghana Football Association and the Federation of Mexican football as well as Soccer United Marketing wish to announce that the Charlotte Bank of America Stadium has been selected to host the October 14th Mexican Tour International Friendly Match between the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup Champions Mexico against Africa's powerhouse, the Black Stars of Ghana. It further noted that the ticket for the match will go on sale on August 11 at 10 a.m. ET on somoslocals.com so that is where fans can get the opportunity to buy tickets to go and watch Ghana's game against Mexico. Well, the Black Stars of Ghana will be playing two friendly matches in the United States, one against the United States of America and another against Mexico. So the first match will be against Mexico on October 14th, then on October 17th, the Black Stars will take on USA in another friendly match. The friendly match also forms as part of preparations for Ghana as we prepare for the 2026 World Cup qualifiers, which starts in November. So, yes, that is how we can get the opportunity to buy tickets to go and watch Ghana's game against Mexico and USA. Well, let's go on and do some more. And Black Stars midfielder. Baba Idrisu has bid farewell to Spanish club that is RCD Mallorca as he prepares to make a move to fellow La Liga team UD Almera. After joining Mallorca in 2014 from Legana's youth team, the 27-year-old amassed a total of 91 appearances during his time with the club. The Ghanaian's departure from Mallorca marks the end of an almost decade-long association with the team. He is set to embark on a new journey with UD Almera reportedly signing a three-year contract at a value of around 2.5 million euros. Expressing his emotions, Baba Idrisu took to Instagram to share a heartfelt sentiment with the club and his fellow teammates. Baba Idrisu is quoted to have said, It is very sad to leave a place I consider home, a club where I have lived many good times almost a decade shared with the red black family and suddenly i say goodbye he went on to say that the journey continues wishing each of you malocanites the very best until we meet again i want to tell you that i love you very much and thank you very much for the opportunities and experiences we have shared together once a malocan always a malocan supporter go maloka and that is what baba idrisu said as he bid farewell to rcd mallorca fans well of late baba idrisu does not get the opportunity to play for the black stars anymore after the 2022 fifa world cup where he was left out of ghana squad for the tournament so let's go on and do some more and fc nordjylland have rejected a bid from star Riem for their talented ghanaian winger Ernest Nyama, the in-demand forward, has been on the radar of several clubs in Europe with Stad Riems and Ajax as the front runners to sign the Ghanaian player. Well, the League One outfit that the Stad Riem presented an initial offer of 18 million euros, which was rejected by the Danish Superliga leaders that is 
FC Nordland at the club demand more for their most priced assets. FC Nordland want a little over 20 million euros for NS Nyama, which is around 150 to 200 million Danish krona for the youngster. This will be the class record transfer after fellow Ghanaian, that is Kamaldin Suleimana, who joined Star Rene in 2021 for 20 million euros. Meanwhile, Ajax are yet to make an official bid for the 19 year old NS Nyama, with the team looking forward to sell. Mohamed Kudus before they get to use Enes Nyama as replacement for Mohamed Kudus. Enes Nyama has currently backed four goals in three matches in the Danish Superliga so far and was named the player of the month and also the young player for July at FC Nordjylland. So FC Nordjylland looking to sell Enes Nyama at the cost of 20 million euros but Star Williams offered to pay 18 million use which was rejected by the danish club well let's go on and do some more and black stars defender dana amati hopes to score more goals for his new club that is besiktas dana amati left leicester city where he had been playing his trade and the seasoned defender joined the ranks of turkish superliga side besiktas in july on a free transfer Dana Amati marked his first appearance for Besiktas, scoring a goal on his debut in the Europa Conference League match against KF Tirana. The Black Stars defender scored with a header as he found the back of the net, contributing to Besiktas' 2 0 victory over their opponent. Reflecting on his goal scoring achievement, Amati disclosed that he would like to score more goals for his Turkish outfit, Besiktas, in matches. He is quoted to have said that I played seven years in Leicester and played 145 matches. I could only score three goals. I had a goal celebration in my first match here. The Sixers has been very lucky for me. I will continue to search for goals in set pieces. I hope I can continue to score more goals like this. And that is what Amati said, pledging to score more goals at Besiktas. Well, that's how we wrap up here on Sports Update Ghana. It was a pleasure coming away with the updates. Please do all subscribe to the channel, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. See you in the next one. Adios.